back uh, our structure pillar, the exposed brick, that's the old back wall. So there's a new support pillar, and then basically we've got about 18 line sets that they added to the building. Again, I don't know if I told you, but we have 18 foot on the back of the building, about 12 foot of stage. And then this space here, we can kind of see the overhang, that's the crossover space that I was talking about. Um, so we basically, you know, once you get past where that concrete is, or even that pillar, that's the alley that we took over. Uh, so there isn't an alley? There is not an alley specific behind us. There's on each side of us, we uh, grabbed that land and we took it. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, we just have a huge stage house now. Um, a lot of stuff here. Uh, we used to have pre-2002 renovation with a single purchase system. Uh, 2004, they added this double purchase system, which basically pushes it up. Again, gives you more stage side space. Uh, a lot of people are questioning the spiral staircase. Based on the sixth floor here, we've got a grid level where you can rig and do different things up there. Uh, we used to have roughly, you know, next to this wall here, uh, a tin coffin that they called a elevator. Uh, they did take that out. Uh, our stagehands are not very pleased with that because they were able to jump on the elevator and go up the sixth floor. Now they get to do this. Uh, I've been up there a couple times. Uh, coming down is a whole lot worse uh, than going up, but uh, I'll leave those lights off so we don't have anybody wandering up here. But, um, <laughs> Uh, Sokoa was our, on this project, uh, Sokoa uh, did all of the rigging, um, actually they did the rigging in 2004 as well, um, so that was our consultant on that. Um, we kind of talked about the organ, uh, now these white curtains that are on each side of the pier, that's the organ chambers, that's where all the bells, the whistles, all of the actual workings of the organ. Um, our council, so a lot of those organ um, <laughs> really, we have our original organ. We don't have it right now. It's in Reno, Nevada. Um, but we will have our original organ back in place probably this summer. Um, our council did get destroyed. Our Opus model 1907 was completely destroyed. Uh, we did have a, an organ consultant on the project. They were able to find Opus model 1908. It is the next model off the line. It was you know, made at the exact same time with the exact same people that our 1907 was made. It was actually, I don't know, crazy enough, shipped to Brooklyn, New York, the same day as our council was shipped to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Um, this council um, has also been, you know, it was sent down to Reno. I believe our 1908 <coughs> only had two keyboards. They added a third keyboard. They reworked it. It wasn't as kind of grand and flashy as our 1907. Our 1907 has different gold leaf and different things on it. Where they reworked it and made it look exactly like our 1907. Um, so that is back. It's got its own storage room below us here. It's on a cart. It is uh, previously it had roughly 400 telephone lines. It's like a low voltage line, 200 to each chamber. Those now come to a data box and we plug it in with a Cat5 cable. Uh, so your computer cable. So we have a computer cable and a small twist lock, and that can be unplugged quickly, brought up to stage level, put on a truck, and sent out of town if need be. But, um, so what used to be hardwired, affixed to a corkscrew um, lift system, is now completely removable and easily removable. So um, again, I mentioned a little bit, but we have um, roughly through the project, it was probably I don't know if it was quite a year now, uh, it's probably less than that. Six to eight months, they basically decided to add um, the organ chambers into the project. Those weren't originally in the project to uh, refurbish all of that. TCR went through a big uh, refurbish of their system as well. We kind of thought we better do it too. Um, so that's why it's not back. It was kind of late in the project that they disassembled. Uh, that's supposed to be back in mid-June. They say it take about two weeks kind of lay everything out on the stage, kind of figure out where everything goes back into place, all the bells and whistles. So basically we're hoping by fall of next year we'll be able to have a um, mighty orchestra performance or we'll tag it onto an orchestra performance or what we'll do. We haven't quite decided. But. Where was that organ? Why was it available? 
Um, it was, it's my understanding, it was like in a church basement in Indiana or something. It was not in the original home. It wasn't in Brooklyn, New York anymore. Um, this consultant's uh, basically fished around. Um, I think we're one of 12 organs um, even in existence anymore. There's like a really small number. Um, but the luck of finding that specific model, let alone any other mighty realtor, is just crazy. But to think of that 1907, 1908 um, that they found. And, uh, he found it. He wrote a check the same day. Hmm. You know, he went through the negotiations. He went by phone and called. Um, the city had to approve the purchase, but uh, they approved it that day, and the guy wrote a personal check and said, I've got to have this, and Cedar Rapids has got to have this model. So it was pretty much a done deal as soon as we found that. 